Aquarius, we're going to go ahead and get right into this reading. Once again, it's going to be very, very general. All right, everything to know about me is down below. If you want to book a reading, you definitely can. Or if you have questions about this reading, all right, you could definitely comment them. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get my camera together. I don't know what the fuck going on with this shit. Fuck it. I'm going to leave it the way it is. All right, but anyways, um, everything to know about, about me is down below. Um, also, if you want to check out my other channels, you definitely can. Um, if you want to book a personal, all right, um, check the metaphysical shop, all right. The sale is still going on. Visit a community tab, add me on threads, TikTok, Instagram, etc. All that stuff is there. But we're gonna go ahead and get right into this reading. Um, so more importantly, this is what the reading is about, y'all. All right. Um whoever this female is or this feminine energy is, y'all, they hate your motherfucking goods. They hate your motherfucking goods. Yeah. Whoever this feminine energy is, baby, they hate your motherfucking guts here. And I feel like you could be a very peaceful person. Or more importantly, like, you don't be letting that shit get to you. I'm also hearing the song Bound 2 by Kanye West. But, yeah. This feminine energy hate y'all guts. You could be seeing 222 a lot here. That could be a favorite angel number. But whoever this feminine energy is, they are secretly competing with you. And they are intimidated by you. But they're acting like, um they're oblivious to all or they don't know what's going on or you don't know what's going on or you're not picking up on the vibes or the energy that they're like presenting or showing if that makes sense hold on y'all i'm trying to get these cards together but like i said also whoever this feminine energy is the way they're trying to make they make you trying to make their life look like it's better than it is or like trying to make you jealous or make you look like a bad person and like they're a good person or oh i would never do that that's not in my character blase 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 but this person is toxic as hell all right also when it comes to this feminine energy y'all have to understand that the only thing that this person is trying to do the only thing they can do is um make you look bad or this is what they're trying to do all right also, this person could want you to feel bad for your life or what you have going on or the things that you're facing or like certain flaws or insecurities that you have or you're dealing with here when it comes to this feminine energy. Um, Just because like throwing arrows or spears, not spears, spears could be a significance, but this person really does not like you, okay? But they don't like you, but they keep checking your page or what you posted or what you're wearing, okay, or where you're going or if they see you in person, they want to know what stores you're going in, what you're shopping at, where do you work or, you know, just little details about you here and your whereabouts and your free will and shit like that, all right? But like I said, when it comes to this fem feminine energy, they're very invasive in your energy, okay? Like I said, you know how they say the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice? Maybe you could be a minority person, a person of color or this person is. You made like wines, pies, um, or expensive desserts or cocktails or cheesecakes and things of that nature or this person does um i feel like also you may need to take a spiritual bath okay when it comes to this person energy um or make make them more frequent um uh, because this person just keeps on throwing stuff your way or they keep coming in and out your energy and leaving this dirty nasty stuff around okay somebody could also be hispanic okay as well too or be able to speak the language okay of uh spanish all right also you have to understand it this person hates y'all so bad but yet they be wanting to bind their energy or like they're like subconsciously binding themselves to you your story it's gonna be like your energy your path or whatever you have going on because they want to be like you or they want to have something that you have and they don't have it whether it's the person a place a thing a tangible thing an opportunity etc or they more importantly they want to have your purpose or be on your purpose path or have the shit that you have going on but like they don't see the troubles or the things that you go through behind the scenes i feel like you could be very soothing loving caring or you could just be cool like bitch is you cool how is you cool like if you know what what i'm talking about yeah is you cool or you heard somebody say before, how is you cool? Yeah, but this person, all they want to do is gossip about you because nobody else feels like they're interesting here or nothing interests other people when it comes to um, dealing with this person. The person might name drop you for relevancy, try to start shit with you or do shit or post subliminals or whatever it is to get clout, to get attention or, you know, to get in certain doors or whatever it is. So they gossip about you because it makes them feel, feel better. All right. But when it comes to this feminine energy, I'm telling y'all with the two of swords, this person literally thinks with the two of swords, you're oblivious. Like, you don't know this how this person feeling or this is like what this person is doing or what they're on with the justice card or versus they're like, you. they think that you don't understand that the scales are imbalanced here. There's like some type of imbalance between you and them. This could also be somebody here who like, if you see them, they be like, hey, or whatever it is, or y'all cool. But with the Queen of Pentacles, they know like, yeah, 
But you 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 know how to have some motherfucker decorum, but you know how to act when you see me or when you come around me, okay? With the three of wands energy or when y'all cross paths. But I feel like you can have your back turned to this energy. Not the cups. You worry about what you got going on. You worry about the goodness, the good life, the blessings, opportunities. All right, where your path is taking you here or the things that you're focused on or you're obtaining your goals or um, making certain ambitions a reality. Okay, and I feel like when it comes to this person with the Hierophant card here, this person, I'm, I don't know, I'm hearing Mother Mary. Maybe somebody deals with a Mary Magdalene here, okay? Or Mary Magdalene, that could be of significance, okay? Um, yeah. But I feel like when it comes to the feminine energy, they could also, you know, dislike how people may come to you for advice. People may view in a high, um, as a high commodity, or view you in a way where it's like, you know, people, they put you on a pedestal okay or people will treat you as such like as a person of importance here that you are important and they're not with the seven of wands it's like no matter what they try to do um people may see through them or see through you people know that you could be a very honest person but they could be trying to say you're not honest you're disloyal or you know trying to make seem like you're very cold and cruel and this when you're not but this person wants people to think this but i feel like with the herman car energy they're trying to like do this where they're not involved or you know how somebody washes their hands of a situation to where it's like okay turn that fan off they wash your hands of a situation people don't realize i was the one who set all this up i'm the culprit i'm the one who's mixing all these things up with the tentacles and the three pentacles yeah or like more importantly with the three pentacles energy i'm also getting when it comes to the community here this person may try to act like you know um they're innocent or they spend a lot of time alone or like that you are a loner or you're a loser you don't have friends people don't fuck with you whatever it is but it's by choice you do this by choice but maybe you spend a lot of time with your family or people you do trust or you do fuck with behind the scenes here all right but child when it comes to this feminine energy right here okay let's see what else do we need to know all right um yeah when it comes to this feminine energy like i said this person all they want to do is be the sun or the star and they're not Go sit in the audience or go be on the sidelines like a cheerleader that you are, okay? This is somebody who also, um, every time you change a way or change a weird, your way of doing something, they always have to find a new outlet or new access point to cipher your energy here or limit your vitality here or resurrect a new form. So then they can have access towards you or be keeping up with you like how they be keeping up with the Kardashians here or keeping up with the Joneses. Yeah, also, what you need to know as well, so whoever this femininity is, they have tried to partake or do spell work on you or try to temporarily stifle you here or try to captivate you or your energy or try to send evil eye and dirty vibes your way. Um, but I feel like, you know, to no avail, they can't have control over you. You're not submit, um, you're not submissive or more importantly, it's just not working. It's not taking you down. Or more importantly, you're too protected, okay? You're too professional to get out of character here so they can't make you lose your job for some of you guys, somebody at work. Or more importantly, you take care of yourself and others and too much. So it's like that shit don't matter you could be also focused on wealth status or windfall or things that you know are going to build you up instead of break you down and i feel like this person could be very sly cunning or feel like you have a certain strategy to what you're getting or how your lifestyle is set up or a certain strategy that you face the outside world with okay and they want to know what it is okay because this person all they do is move in illusions they waste time waste other people's time here or try to you know jump certain timelines to see what people got going on and then trap them or put people in an imprisoned controlled or um, mentally anguished filled type of energy here or more importantly try to trap people in certain environments or make them feel like they have to deal with them yeah yeah but I feel like when it comes to this feminine energy here, they may also try to use their look or their sexual attributes like their titties, their ass, and all that shit. But motherfuckers is not really paying no attention to them. Or more importantly, like Respucia, this person could use like their familial ties or their friendships and things of that nature. All right, to stay relevant or get what they want here. But I feel like you don't need any of that. You're the snowflake. You're irreplaceable. You're one of a kind. You stand on your own. You don't need nobody else, no choirs, no quartets, you know, no background motherfuckers, okay? But I feel like, um, yeah, you could be on the stairway, you making progress, you doing what you need to do. And I feel like this person here, they have no shame in how they feel about you or what they're doing. They don't. This person just wants to have some type of conflict with you or like, you know, it's giving one to be starting something. Like Michael Jackson said, this is just what this feminine energy is on, okay, Aquarius? Yeah, also, I feel like when it comes to feminine energy, you know how Nicki Minaj says, yeah, you can kiss the ring, but you can never wear the crown. They want to wear your crown. They want to wear your ring. Oh, more importantly, they want to wear your clothes. Want to wear your skin. Okay, want to wear your path or your energy or your genes or ancestry on them. 
okay um that could definitely be hitting home for some of you guys here but you have to understand this person has made bad deals about you have told your business or more importantly trying to get other people to go against you here or to join them in their little brigade of bullshit but i feel like you're too strong for this person by yourself uh, whether you're a man or a female so this person already knows that that's why they're trying to um get other people involved all right yeah, also for some of you guys here, whatever this person did to try to block you, your wealth, your status, your finances, or your windfall, your good luck, or your reputation, or even try to block you um, spiritually or throw work your way or evil eye, I feel like you continuously break out of that or it just doesn't have an effect and they know this and it's starting to piss them off, okay? Yeah, it's, it's giving Jocelyn. You're starting to piss me off, Stevie. You're starting to piss me off because, like, it, I don't know why I just thought about that, all right? But like I said, the X factor. You could have already asked this person out. You could have cut them off. You could have stopped fucking with them. Or like any type of connections or anybody who knows your strategy or anything that people know about you or this public knowledge, you could have definitely changed it or you're not moving the same. And they're trying to figure out, damn, what the fuck changed about them? Why did they do that? All right, for some of you guys here as well too, if you're dealing with that masculine energy, or a man or if you're a man you're dealing with a female uh, somebody who's single or pursuing you or you could be dealing with them in a relationship mirror with them whatever it is um they wish that somebody would show them love attention and care like that or if you have your way with the opposite sex they kind of have hard time there and they also are mad or upset about that because nobody wants to commit to them nobody takes them seriously or people just waste this person's time okay even if they try to be good people still want to waste their time but like i said this person hasn't really came back around you guys or more importantly they haven't made their entrance known yet they could be spending a lot of time alone here at this current time being here because i feel like the last thing they did or said to you was very disrespectful or well, this person is trying to find a new way to hide their disrespect but i feel like this person don't want to smoke with you for real and they, like they won't smoke with you for real or crazy, but this person don't really want to smoke with y'all okay this person is a karmic here or they have karmic debt they should be focused on instead of focusing on you because it's about to come back around and surprise them, all right? Also, if they did have a twin flame or spiritual relationship, um, they've ruined it. Or more importantly, um, they're not the ones who are putting in the necessary work. As you guys here, um, this person could even try to get your twin flame here or more importantly, control your spiritual connections or contracts or soul contracts, but not just twin flames, soulmates, friends, different things of that nature are wanting to have them, but they can't cultivate them or create them. Okay. Um, but yeah, this person is going to try to tap into y'all's energy again, too. Let's get somebody who also could be a spiritual narcissist where they hate spirituality. They hate magic. They hate this. They hate that. But yet this person be doing certain shit will, where it's like, okay, well, from a Christian point of view, this will be witchcraft. Or more importantly, they do certain things where they fucking with your energy or take certain risks here, but then act like they don't know what they don't believe or do any of that stuff here. But this person is also going to take whatever risk they have to, to have a certain lifestyle, to compete with you by any means, all right? But this person knows you have a lot of pride. Or they may act like they have a lot of pride, but when it comes to sexual things or nature or being um wanted or listed over whatever it is, they fall every single time or they mass fall off every single time, okay? Let's pull some cards on this. Um, but yeah, like I said, whoever this feminine energy is, um, let's see what you need to know about them. Once again, it's just general. Not every card is going to resonate. But when it comes to feminine energy, but some of you guys here, they act like things are okay, but things are not okay with them okay or with you um this person um they really do love you they really do care for you or it's kind of those energy where like make the style and say you don't know if you can't fuck with me or you want to fuck you for some of you guys it could be that that's what they want okay or that's you know what it is well as you guys here this person can't be around children because either they can't take care of those children they're irresponsible or they could even be mentally messed up here but this person was forced to leave you alone if you haven't heard from them in a while here you haven't seen them in a while whatever it is because they was forced to leave you alone by your spiritual team by another person or somebody could attack them on the shoulder and say hey you want some weird shit like is you good and they realize damn I got caught, all right? But yeah, for some of you guys here as well too, um, this person could have also had a, a tumultuous childhood or seen some certain things or experienced certain things um, in their younger years that could have making them um, mentally unstable or act like such. This person could be a dancer, exotic dancer, sex worker, escort, or they treat themselves as such or they're, you know, kind of out here in the field. If somebody showed them some attention or showed them they may commit to them or, uh, you know, satisfy their sexual needs, they outside, whether it's a man or a female, all right? Um, but this is definitely a feminine energy here who also, for some of you guys here, if this person could have owed you money or money could be in a th scenario, this person knows that they're hiding money. Or more important, this person could also use you for stability in some kind of way. Let's see what else we need to know here. Yeah, but this person definitely tried to traumatize you before, put you through a tumultuous situation because you are too perfect or you look too perfect or too positive or whatever. All right, but when it comes to feminine energy here, if you've been seeing them in your nightmares and your dreams and shit, they're doing this on purpose. 
All right. Also, this person, if you let them around your kids, let me treat your kids a certain kind of way because they just simply don't like you or don't fuck with you. All right. And they just definitely want to break you spiritually here or even they don't like you so much for some of you guys here. They may even want to off you. Okay. But like I said, this person next move, they're going to try to lure you into a trap. Okay. Due to them being emotionally immature. Okay. Yeah. They may drop by your home or your house or do magic to manifest you. All right, but when it comes to this person here, yeah, that's just what they got going on. This person could also have a same-sex lover interested in the same sex, okay, as you. Or more importantly, they could be attracted to a family member, okay, one of your family members or somebody who they're close to, even a friend, all right? But yeah, like I said, when it comes to this person here, you need to understand this person will cheat. This is another reason why people don't deal with this feminine energy because people, they cheat with anybody that gets close to them or anybody they know. This person has a abandonment wound or they don't want nobody to never leave them or turn their back on them but yet they keep doing fucked up shit i feel like also people don't fuck with them as well too because they're always thinking of how to stop the next person or get in the next person way back like they're helping somebody where they have great intentions when they don't this person also often imitates or impersonates other people or wants to be other people instead of being themselves and people are picking up on this especially when it comes to them being a compulsive liar or they lie about dumb shit all right but this person is not loyal or trustworthy to anybody friend family lover people know that you know when people come around people know that this person thinks that they're irreplaceable and they're not all right um they don't give off any of those qualities or quantities and this person is a thief they will steal from you they will borrow things from you they will take from you and even if you point it out this person will act like this is not what they're doing but that's not their character or whatever it is but they will get caught time at the time at the time okay money is all i get and there's still money on my mind but i ain't never satisfied person ain't never satisfied all right but let's pull some more cards when it comes to this feminine energy i'm actually going to pull some of these up because like i said y'all this is what really be going on when it comes to this feminine energy who act like they hate your guts like bitch is you cool how was you cool ho? like what's the tea all right i'm gonna pull some cards i know i know y'all love the cards okay all right but anyways like i said for some of y'all let's see what y'all need to know about this feminine energy nose itching all right so for some of y'all here you could definitely have once upon a time been this person's reason to smile whether it's negatively positively maniacally strategically whatever it is whenever this person name drops you they talk about you or they act like they don't fuck with you they hate you whatever it is this brings them a sense of joy or pleasure in some kind of way especially if somebody like responds the same way as them or like you know denotes what they're talking about and be like mm, i didn't think that at first but now i think that now like you know they like that shit they eat that shit up all right, but when it comes to this feminine energy here, for some of you guys here, they could even have wanted to do a threesome with you here, okay? Or well, this person, um, you know, more importantly, they have had an invitation for a threesome come their way before, all right? Um, or they may want to do this with you. But like I said, this person who really hates your motherfucking guts, they may also hate you because you have tried to hold them accountable, okay? Or you hold people accountable, and they can't take accountability for shit that they do or they say, but they want to put the blame off on other people, all right this is also somebody here who could act like they want to be healed or they want to heal other people or heal situations like you do maybe all right but they don't do right or they don't it's just a no also for some of you guys as well too if this person has ever cooked food for you or given you food or whatever it is just know they put something in it or they tried to poison you or make you od or put something in your weed or drink your food also i feel like what's going on when it comes to this feminine energy here they know that you continuously have miracles here or you have a miracle that's going to be coming up um in the near future here so they're gonna be trying to get in the way of that or trying to see what you got going on or be sniffing it out but like i said this person here could have been on your team or you know this person i like they hate your goods but i feel like y'all could have been on the same team or you could have been a friend family lover or you could actually help them but they didn't want to do the work to be with you or be around you all right it's feminine energy i feel like they just burnt the motherfucking bridge here but yet they continue to follow you around stalk you or do weird shit for some of you guys here because they may want another chance but they have hidden resentments they're holding okay against you as you guys here this person may also hate the fact that you're attractive you're more attractive than them or more importantly you could have already thought this your thoughts aren't misleading all right this person may also want to come back around you and act like they um showing love to you or they have a change of heart about you for some of you guys here but i feel like you need to turn your swag on hop out of bed turn your swag on take a look in the mirror say what's up what's up or they could try to come back around you or try to be relevant so then you pay them attention and they act like they pumping faking on you or they flexing on you all right but whoever this feminine energy is like i said they have a lot of uh, vices 
whether it's smoking, drinking, gambling, addictions, or whatever it is, everybody has a vice, but this person has a lot of them. All right, but they already have picked the st a side here, but they're being doggy style fucked in the ass because they realize and they chose the wrong fucking side or chose to go against you. All right, this is somebody here who also should be worried about time management here, but they're wondering what you do with your time or what you're doing when you're managing your time because they feel like you're hiding something from them. Or they could be hot and their vices to make it seem like they're a certain kind of person or, you know, whatever it is. But their morality is under question at this current time being. All right. Also, when it comes to this feminine energy, you have to understand that there will be some resurfacing information or facts about this person that's going to be coming out. But they're trying to resurface these things about you. But your past on loved ones are telling you, you need to get your lemon and pepper steppers and step, okay? Or hit this motherfucker with the deuces for some of you guys here. But when it comes to this feminine energy, um, I feel like you may be very seductive or you have high sex appeal. But I feel like, you know, every time the spotlight is on you or the opposite sex is looking at you or checking you out, whatever it is, they always try to create some type of diversion all right or problems or whatever it is all right and if you were dealing with this person romantically here understand this person never wrote um, reciprocated your feelings all right somebody could have been a Sagittarius here that they were dealing with or they know but understand as well too um this feminine energy they like to throw a lot of rocks especially when they're drunk okay and hide their hands and for those of you guys, um, they could definitely be having drunk sex with somebody or they could have got drunk one time if you're dealing with this person in a loving kind of way or it's your ex or whoever it is. That's what they did, okay? But when it comes to this feminine energy, your ancestors want you to know, specifically a masculine ancestor wants you to know, if they're a cancer, um, they want you to know this person is not real. They never was real. They're not going to be real. And this person do hate you. Or they could they could have heard your head was good. Whether it's sexually here or your brain is fine. Like your actual brain. Or you're smarter than them. All right? And, um... Yeah, they hate it. Well, they hate how smart you is. They can't get over on you. That's a cancer. All right, but when it comes to what you need to know about this feminine energy who's hating, this person could really just want somebody to love them long time, but people love you long time here. And I feel like what's going on, they could have sent a spirit your way here to where um, you could have wondered why you was falling out people or people was like acting like they hated you or going against you or you were having a lot of hate mail, hate trains, different things going on because this was a spirit they sent towards you because they wanted you to feel this way because this is how they felt their whole life. All right, but I feel like you defeated this spirit in the past. But anyways, now that you're on your road or you're on your journey, when it comes to this feminine energy as well too, they're going to be trying to use your ideas with other karmics to be better than you or outlast or outdo you or they already have, especially to get into an industry or get into an industry or career, all right, that they are looking at. But I feel like more importantly, people are not listening to this feminine energy right now, all right? So they realize this person is one clown short of a fucking circus. All right, but yeah, this person could be using sweetening spells or beauty spells or whatever it is. All right, but I feel like people are still noting this person is being toxic. All right, for some of you guys here, if you're dealing with a Virgo feminine, you have to understand this person may spend money on drugs. Or if you smoke weed or whatever you do, this person may try to talk shit about that and they hate you. All right, but this person is a fucking random or they do a lot of random things and act like, you know, they don't know what's going on because they're hiding their hands. All right, also somebody who has long hair. All right, feminine who hates your guts and they have long hair. This person lied towards you, but they act like they still love or they fuck with you or y'all are friends, but they lied towards you. They could have lied about, you know, acting like that um they fuck with you, they kick it with you, they pulling up, they not. Or telling other people this is like they didn't really want to or they're not fucking with you like that. All right, but also I'm seeing here, it says, when I was a geisha, he was a samurai. So for some of you guys who have spiritual connections or like twin flames or soulmates and different things of that nature, whoever this feminine energy is, they um could have tried to interfere with this or interfere with that person. And they could be sorry for that because they could have got some bad karma. All right, especially if this person is a Pisces here or the, the person in question is a Pisces. But you may need to go read this person's natal chart, especially if they're April Aries or if you need to go read a natal chart, period. You're dealing with an April Aries who hates your guts. Like I said, in the next two weeks, you will be hearing from this person or seeing them. Or they'll be showing up on your motherfucking social media or something of the sort, or something of the sort okay? But yeah, for some of you guys who are as well, too, there could also be a feminine energy who hates your fucking guts. But they be taking boy drugs. They be popping pills and doing all that weird shit. All right? um, To soothe their nerves and shit here because they be thinking too much to themselves because they realize nobody fuck with them. All right, um, but yeah, for some of you guys, it is a feminine energy who can't stop talking about it, or they can't talk, can't stop talking about something extreme they did towards you. All right, it's shocking news that you didn't want to fuck with them, but I feel like they didn't want to let go of your energy, so they wanted to get the last lick or the last laugh, but they really didn't, or they're not going to. All right, but when it comes down to these feminine energies or energy, you have to understand, like, listen, Linda, listen to what your spiritual team is telling you about these people, or people are telling you about this person. All right. Yeah, the streets are definitely talking about this person on how they be having that coochie and giving that coochie to everybody. Or more important, this person could be trying to make it seem like this is what's going on with you. 
All right, but like I said, it's a lot of karmic lessons this person has to learn. You could learn a karmic lesson when it comes to dealing with this person. All right, there could also be certain wars or conversations about property or conversations about um certain shit that's supposed to be owed to you, and they could hate you because either you have them or more importantly, they're supposed to be giving them to you. But while you over here making improvements, this person could be making improvements too. But they can't take the heat, or they're not gonna be able to take the evil eye and the shit that they've been dishing towards you. If you want to do a reversal, you definitely can. If you want to take a spiritual bath, you definitely can. But pay attention. Hello?